What's going on, everybody? Yes, 2024 is a great time to build your physical media collection. Um, in this video, I would like to discuss, um, you know, why that reason is, uh, where to buy your movies uh, here in the States, and also because of the great thing that YouTube provides uh, the, in the analytics for my viewers, I noticed that my biggest viewers in my channel is here in the States, uh, Canada, UK, and Australia. So, to really help you guys out, I have done some uh, quick research and found out what places to buy physical media uh, for your specific country, some third parties um, for each of those countries, and um, again, these are all uh, places that I found on Reddit and just on the internet in general. So hopefully this is a very informative video, but I would like to start off with why is, why is now the time? Um, if you haven't already, or if you're looking at, you know, <laughs> more reasons to spend your damn money on movies. Um, you know, if you guys have followed me since the beginning or, you know, uh, some of my um, subscribers have followed me um, on Twitter, they know that I have been collecting um, every dang week, man. If I'm being realistic, pretty, pretty damn weekly. Um, and I love to show my weekly hauls. Um, you know, at the end of the month, I do monthly hauls. Uh, but there's always an abundance uh, of movies that I get and people have asked me, you know, where to go. Um, and, you know, there's that topic of there's no place to really go to pick movies. And granted, yes, of course, Best Buy exited the physical media world, um, which sucks because in my location, phys Best Buy is literally just down the street and Walmart, who, basic, who basically replaced Best Buy, uh, they're like f 30 to 40 minutes to the closest one. Most likely like 40. Um, it's, it's just, it kind of sucks, uh, at least for me in that perspective. Uh, so naturally, I was kind of sad because of the luxury that I had in the previous years just going straight to Best Buy. Um, so little, little sad Frank tears, but, um, that still never slowed me down because, uh, yes, I did have Best Buy for some of the mainstream movies that I picked up. Uh, however, the majority of, um, movies that I, that I got were from like, uh, uh Amazon and third party uh, sellers as well and so my my movie collection never slowed down you know once i became a serious physical media collector in middle or late 2019 um it it never really slowed down uh in fact it it, <laughs> it increased big time uh i uh you know to my wife <laughs> she's like damn man where you put all these damn movies and and so that's why i have all these shelves um you know in, in our little office area uh but um yeah it, it's it's a great time and and i've noticed uh there's been some great youtube uh content creators making videos just like this informing you guys of uh where to go uh in the states um and in this video like i said i'm going to talk about where to buy your movies here in the states in the various countries uh that i mentioned earlier that are mainly specifically from uh, my viewers um and and hopefully new subscribers as well um because that's the people who know me I am a hundred percent advocate for um, physical media, and any chance that I can help you guys out um, just makes me happy because uh, you, you know I, I don't want us to lose the physical media um, movies. I, I I love them so much, and as I mentioned 
in um, in my videos, uh, I think since the beginning, if you guys have been following me, is that I, I usually connect some of the movies to like my childhood, to my personal family, um, because that's the way, that's how I became a, f a f big film, um, you know, a cinephile, uh, and it's because I had those wonderful movies with my dad, um, with my family, with my friends. I mean, we all have those moments that, you know, we cherish and we want to hold those movies in our hand so nobody can fucking take them uh, from us. And, and so, like I said, this video hopefully will be very informative and kind of passionate uh, as well because if you're watching this video most likely you're very passionate about movies and about collecting those said movies and building your collection and where to go to even make your collection even more you know beautiful and and, and so I'm ho I'm I'm hoping this will help you guys out and just you know, if you guys can just share the video, uh, because yeah, I, I, I brought some lists guys. I brought out like, uh, like three pages and, and just to where to go. So, uh, and if I can, I'm going to put little logos up of the places that I mentioned. Some of these places, you know, I checked briefly online, uh, just to make sure that yes, that they are real. Um, and they check out but uh yeah guys so here we go as far as the states we all know that there's big uh you know big stores like uh target walmart as i mentioned earlier walmart replaced uh best buy they're the they're the big dogs now and I personally have had a wonderful experience with buying movies from Walmart. Even the packaging has been great. I I can't believe that, man. Uh, because when I think of Walmart, I don't really think of quality shipping. And that's just me being honest. But each time that I got a steel book from them, when I bought multiple books, uh, movies in a, in a box they were packaged uh, very well and very uh, protected and I would I in every time that I receive one I am shocked that it is much better uh, shipping wise uh, over at Walmart than my experiences over at Best Buy because Best Buy it, it they got super damn lazy which with protecting those movies um, which sucked, man, because at the end, you know, they had their fire sale and I tried to get some movies at great discounts and some of them I actually returned because they were damaged Best Buy. Um, so because they were poorly protected, um, but so no issues with, with Walmart. So th there's one. Target um, is another one. Target and stores, that's a little different. Uh, you know, I only really shop uh, for movies. Uh, when I go to Target, it's mainly online. And when I really go and use their services is when they have those two-for-one or BOGO. Usually it's two-for-one sales. And... Um, you know, I try to let you guys know when, whenever that does happen. Um, so, because they're good deals sometimes. Um, so there's a, another one. Uh, also, uh, of course there's Amazon. Um, everyone and in, in their mother uses Amazon. So that's pretty automatic and that's for every damn country. Of course, um, for, I mentioned it in a, video early on but uh, if you live in the states and are specifically wanting an international release um, like like right now 
you can get um, was it Iron uh, Claw? I believe it's the wrestling movie that just came out uh, uh, here in the states, uh, Blu-ray, but it's only an international 4K release. Um, you know, you can you can get that. I think it's German. It's a German release, but you can specifically go to your profile, change your country setting, go to Germany or the UK. And start buying movies again that's how I got the exorcist um, Bible edition that's how I got some of my um, international movies um, was through the Amazon route um, and uh, you know shipping was it took a little bit of time but it's well worth it especially for the movies that are hard to find um, so there is that way uh, with Amazon um, uh, Barnes and Noble, of course, uh, especially uh, go with them whenever they have their uh, Criterion or their Arrow Video uh, sales. Uh, so that's a great opportunity. Uh, I think I think that's it. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to uh, mention some other stores that I forget in this video. But for the mainstream stores, I think that's it. So, next I'm going to go with third-party um, stores that I have personally used that I use all the dang time um, and, I, and I highly recommend them as well. So, the third parties for the US um, and some of these actually do international shipping uh, as well, um, but uh, they are... Uh, I love Diabolic. I mention them all the time. Jesse and his company uh, has been fantastic. I always, always recommend them because I have never had a bad experience with them. I live in Narnia, man, so sometimes shipping takes a little while. So that's my only complaint, but that's nothing to do with them. Uh, you know, they it's an East Coast uh, company, and so it takes forever to go 3,000 miles uh, to the other side of the states. So that's my only complaint, but it's, like I said, it's, it's nothing on them. But they're truly one of the best third parties that I have uh, shopped at. Uh, another one, so yeah, Di Diabolic DVD, uh, Orbit DVD has been great. Uh, Atomic Movie Store, I just discovered them and... They were fantastic. Oh my goodness. I just got, uh, uh, oh gosh, what was it? Um, the, the house below, uh, oh man, I forgot. I'll, I'll put it up here, but it was a German release only. Uh, I bought it and literally the same day they shipped it. And a couple days later I got it. It was seriously one of the quickest shopping experiences I've had with a third party. It was amazing. Um, a part of it was because they're, I believe, they're based in the Midwest. Um, so it helped me because uh, I live in the Pacific Northwest. And it was just fantastic experience. And they have some uh, other um, boutique labels that are, are maybe hard to find or just... Yeah, I, I just really recommend them, and I, I and, and also their uh, uh, web uh, browser is just very friendly. It's it's uh, beginner friendly. Uh, they made it very simple. Uh, uh, what label to go to? What what items there are? I mean, it, it was it was fantastic. Um, so I, I can't mention them highly enough, and I'll definitely be shopping with them uh, more often. So. Uh, those are the three that I have personally used um, uh, quite often, especially with uh, Diabolic and Orbit. Uh, other ones um, are, uh, of course, um, uh, Grindhouse Video, uh, Bull Moose, which is mainly an East Coast um, store. They're, they're, I know um, Jeff from, uh, well, formerly uh, Films at Home. He always promotes uh, Bull Moose because, well, he lives in their area. And so uh, that's regional-wise. That, that's where he kind of goes. Um, but I've shopped with them before 
uh, online, I think once or twice, and I had a good experience uh, with them as well. Um, other ones, uh, and I think, I think that's it. With I, I, again, if I'm missing one of them, please put it down below in the comment section for those who check this video out. And they they can see it in the comment section because I know I'm going to miss some. Um, and I apologize in advance, but again, this video is to really be informative for all, um, all physical media, uh, members. Um, so I think that's about it. Um, some of the other people that, uh, are more, I don't know if they're like wholesale or, or, you know, um, whatnot, but, uh, deep discounts, uh, I've used and I've had good experiences with them. Uh, there's rare waves. I think there's actually a rare waves in the UK. I'll mention them again later on. Uh, Hamilton Books. Uh, of course, there's the big one of Groove. Groove has sales, uh, so many sales. There's a sale every damn week. Uh, Ken from Mid Level Media, he always promotes them uh, because uh, it's true, man. They're they're wonderful. Um, with with their shipping they do um overnight and two-day shipping here in the states and it's fantastic i've never had a bad experience with them at all if you're a new customer you can use their code to get 20 percent off um and then believe it or not uh zavi is making a damn combat they used to be um one of the um uh, retailers that you can get movies and then they just kind of died off uh, but I checked their website because while doing some research for specifically this video, uh, someone mentioned, uh, Zavi and so I had to check them out and they're, um, yeah, they act, they have a lot of movies and they're specifically, uh, what is it? Uh, Ocean's 11, you know, the whole trilogy, uh, there's a standard three pack, there's the steel book. Uh, that are coming out you know for each of the mo three movies but then also i've only seen it on their website because at zavi they do exclusives on their website there is a gold uh three pack i'll put it up here but it'll look pretty dang cool man i'm not gonna lie i, I might go for that it'll look, it'll look pretty nice and shiny um once uh I, th I think that's it for the states one thing that i mentioned i wanted to mention really quick is that um uh ken and uh, uh mega mega mike mega movie mike um uh, um i think that's his name uh they mentioned almost weekly uh about the sales uh from uh blu-ray at least a tracker um about sales on physical media uh, one of the big ones is Blu-ray.com. They're um, great at tracking um, sales, uh, especially on Amazon. And one that I just found out um, while doing research for this video is Camel, Camel, Camel. It's uh, and I uh, looked at it, and it's actually pretty cool too. They uh, track all the movies uh, and have the listings on Amazon and other uh places as well it's all right there and it was pretty cool and it seemed pretty easy uh so i think i think that's it for the states as i said it earlier if there's places that i didn't mention please put it down in the comment section to help other physical media uh people so and including me because i always like to look at other places and, and of course uh, support uh, third-party uh, people because they have really helped um, keep physical media alive you know I mentioned it before how boutique labels have done that uh, for uh, physical media and the third parties really are just amazing also before I forget always shop at your those main labels as well because there is a bunch um uh and and uh 
before I'm hope hopefully I'm not missing any, but the labels that you know uh, that you you can go and shop at so the boutique labels as a course criterion uh arrow video kino lober shout uh, slash scream factory uh imprint uh vinegar syndrome uh, uh indicator second sight 88 films umbrella um you know uh mvd 101 Eureka, radiance uh, severin and film movement i i haven't heard of film movement so I, I don't know them, but I have personally shopped at Criterion, Arrow, Kino, Shout, Vinegar Syndrome, Umbrella, um, and I've never had a bad experience with them. Umbrella is based in Australia, and the only negative with them is that, you know, if you live in the States or outside of the country, that shipping could take a little while to, uh, you know, to take, but it's well worth it. The packaging is always fantastic and i highly recommend them uh so those are the boutique labels if i missed any please let me know or drop it down in the comment section so those are the states uh now is the uk um and so when i looked up this information um you know I could only find so much, so I'm pretty sure that there's more, uh, but this is what I found. Uh, so in the UK, uh, there is, H, uh, is it HMV, uh, and then there's an HMV Volt um, in London. Uh, there's a VOP, a V-O-P-P. Uh, there's a 6, or a C-E-X, maybe it's pronounced like that. Um, there's a bookstore called Foil Foilis. If, if I'm mispronouncing these names, I apologize, man. Um, but yeah, uh, they're scattered in London and you know in the UK. Uh, there's also the BFI uh, down in London as well. Um, please put down in the comment section. Uh, other places for other UK folks to go to because, um, you know, I, I don't know if there's specifically other like websites. Um, I couldn't, for some reason, I couldn't really find them. Um, maybe that's part of the CEX or, um, but, uh, yeah, please, please let me know. Um, because I'd really love to help the UK folks as well. Um, so with Canada, what I found is sunriserecords.com, um, London drugs, of course, Walmart, uh, shoppers drug mart, I believe is what it's called. Um, those are like the main stores, um, for online, um, it was much easier for me to find, uh, online stores, um, for Canada. Uh, and that is cinema1.ca, uh, Beat Goes On, uh, Bay Street Video, Wow HD, Videomatica.com, uh, uh, the C and L Internet Club, and um, an Obstructed View.com. Uh, I think that's all that I could find for Canada um, and then you know for my uh, Australian fans I, I feel real sorry for you guys man I you guys got uh, shitted on man I uh, there's no just polite way to say it so uh, yeah um, yeah uh, I know that like I said the main labels uh, there's umbrella and there's also uh, via vision um, uh, I believe it's via vision who's based out in Australia. Um, they are, uh, yeah, they're based out there, but what I could find for the, um, Australians, um, is Cinemaniacs home media, 
Easy DVD, that's E-Z-Y DVD, and Dead in DVD. Um, and that's it. I, I know that the friends uh, that I that I have from Australia and in Canada too, I know that uh, it's expensive to collect movies, a lot more expensive than it is here in the States. Um, so you guys are just amazing uh, physical media collectors, um, because prices are just outrageous. So, uh, I just want to say thank you to you guys for keeping, uh, physical media alive in your specific countries, man. Oh my goodness. Um, and that's part of the thing too, just really quick before I end the video, cause I don't want this to be too long. I want it to be more of a positive video. And of course, as as I just mentioned, uh, of where to go. And, and so, as I stated, uh, now is a great time to buy physical media. Um, it, it's There's so many places to get movies from. Some places are going to be more expensive to collect the movies than others. Um, but there are businesses that you can go to to get those movies and to build your wonderful collection. Um, and, and so, yeah, man, I, I, I really hope that this was very informative. As I said, I'm, I'm a big ag advocate for physical media and I just want to help you guys because that's part of the reason why I started this channel is to connect with as other uh, crazy physical media collectors like myself um, and, and just to advocate for movies, um, show my love for, um, for my movies that I collect. And, uh, you guys also have helped me out with some of the suggestions, uh, of movies to watch, uh, which I ha am very thankful for because that's part of the damn reason why I started this channel is to, uh, widen my, um, knowledge of movies and, you know, collect some of those movies uh, as well. Um, so I really appreciate you guys um, so much. Um, pretty soon, in a, in a, at the timing, uh, at the time of this uh, video, I, I will be uh, three months on YouTube. And uh, it has been a just a fantastic experience. I'm very thankful for... Uh, those who I've connected with on, on YouTube. And uh, there's just so many great content creators like myself. Um, and to and I'm really close to 500 um, within that three-month mark, which is kind of crazy, to be honest with you. I, I'm honestly shocked. And, uh, it, you know, I'm not going to lie. It makes me excited to make videos um, and, and because you guys are not only subscribing, you're also watching, um, you know, I, I see those damn video hours. Uh, and so it's, it's, it's been great. Um, I, I, I just can't, I can't believe it that uh, you guys watch my ass, uh, about whatever videos that I make. And, and so I'm very thankful, uh, to you guys and, and for, uh, for me, just inspiring me to make more videos uh, and hopefully to connect with um, more uh, people as well. So thank you guys again uh, for checking out the video and I'll see you on the next one.